Hi everybody, so nice to see you here today. So glad you can join me because I want to tell you all about all the things that I bought for the Black Friday sales. Kind of couldn't help myself. There were so many great bargains. How about you guys? How did you go? Did you find anything special? Did you find anything really marked down that you just had to have? Well, let me tell you all about the things that I got. I've got some fabrics here as well and some plans for December to tell you all about. So I will go through all of that with you here today. <sighs> What a day it's been. We've been out for lunch, actually, my daughter. I've got a little vlog filmed about us, uh, what we got up to. She wanted to take me out for lunch. So I thought it was really sweet. So, yeah, we had a lovely day. So, yeah, it's just been one of those lovely sunny days when you feel like, yeah, summer is definitely well and truly with us and Christmas is on its way. I've done a little bit of Christmas shopping. I uh, yeah, I try and get organised, of course, with, with five Grown up kids now, I find it, it gets harder as they get older, but I try and get a little bit organised ahead of time. And we have two birthdays in November, so that, yeah, is a really hectic time. It can get quite expensive, so I try and spread it out while I can. And the Black Friday sales just seem to fall at the right time there. So the first thing I got, I actually saw uh, Lindsay Ray from So To Grow. She actually posted this iron she, she got from Spotlight. And they did have a $40 voucher last week as well. I think it could be still possibly running. The Aliso Smart Iron. I've heard all about these, how marvellous they are. And when I saw she actually purchased one, I jumped online. Uh, and I got one online from Spotlight. I got $40 off as well. So it ended up coming well under $100. Now I've seen these for up to $250 Australian dollars, that is. So I think I got a pretty good deal. I'm still waiting for it in the mail. And at the moment, of course, Australia Post is just so overwhelmed and run off their feet. A lot of the, our local posties that we know, they, uh, they just swamped. And I really feel for them because of course, this year is one of those years where it's just, uh, so overwhelming for them to get try and get everything out on time so yeah I've got to I've got to say we're all going to be patient and look after our essential workers and yeah it can be a bit frustrating if you order things well ahead of time and you're still waiting because you always get that sinking feeling that it may not come but fingers crossed yeah of course this is just a present for myself coming so I can wait for that but yeah I'll be really excited to show you maybe give you a review on it as well when it comes so the iron came the day after I filmed that. I'll give you a little bit of a demonstration. It is really uh, a fantastic design. <laughs> They've actually done it. It um, actually has its own feet. So you don't need to actually stand it up like a normal iron. You leave it uh, sitting flat. And when you go to use it, as soon as you touch your hand on the handle, it drops. So you get to iron. And then take your hand off and it raises up. So it has little feet. I just think that's just such an ingenious design. And if you've got annoying cats like me that tend to jump on the ironing table and knock irons off, which has happened quite often before, or even just brushing past, you can knock it. Um, it's a good sort of safety feature and it also turns itself off. So I'm just reading the instructions now. So I got it marked down. It was, uh, down from 275 to about 140 and I got a $40 voucher from Spotlight. So I was really happy with that. But let me know if you guys have got one of these or if you've seen them work, um, what you guys think. Be interested to know. Other great fabric bargains I got as well. This um, was some gorgeous fabric from Fabric Hunt, who is a beautiful little online shop. And Cherie that runs Fabric Hunt is just the most beautiful person. Um, she's very eager to please, and she'll send you out a lovely little email when you've when you've made a purchase, just to tell you it's on its way. They had twenty percent off um, for that Black Friday week. I think they've still got a sale on at the moment, um, but I'll link these fabrics so you can go ahead and find them. This is a beautiful rayon. I just love the rust and the greens. It's really unusual. I haven't seen this sort of print uh, in a small print. I've seen them in a lot. I see a leaf print in a large print. It's so nice to get a daintier kind of print. And this is just the softest, most beautiful quality rayon. I must say, um, I am really, really thrilled with the quality of the fabrics. So I'll show you up close. That one. I have got plans to make the So To Grow Sycamore dress for Christmas out of that. I think that's going to look stunning. And yeah, Lindsay Ray had a great little uh, double pattern release. If you haven't seen the um, other shirt dress that I did for her, the Sydney shirt dress, that's on a previous episode as well. But I love that shirt dress. It is so simple and easy to make. And I think I might do another version of it without the collar, just for something totally different. But this is going to be the Sycamore. I think it's going to look beautiful. 
The other fabric I got from Fabric Hunt was a gorgeous organic jersey, very similar shades to this. I have no idea what I'm going to make, some kind of t-shirty top. It could be an Adrian blouse or maybe a Hello Gorgeous top because it's got a little bit of stability in it. It's one of those um, knits that's not really um, drapey. It's more of a little bit, bit more structure, but it's still very soft. So I'll show you up close the colors in that. Yeah, really, really pretty. I love that kind of autumnal, even though we're in summer, the autumnal colors I'm always very drawn to and yet it'll go back into my wardrobe with lots of my things to wear. How stunning are these hydrangeas? I just had to bring you out and show you just this time of year. They are just blooming. And the um, hotel we stayed at last week was a provincial in Ballarat. They actually had uh, vases of these everywhere. And I just love the, uh, the vibrant kind of energy they bring to the room. But this color is just so pretty. It's gorgeous. I tend to go and grab a big bunch of these every uh, every couple of mornings, bring them inside the house because I, I love fresh flowers inside. They really bring a nice energy to the room. And before I go any further as well, I forgot to mention I am wearing the Besties Tea Pattern from Pattern Emporium. I've also done an episode on that. You would have noticed this Lady McElroy crepe fabric with a parasol print. It's so nice and cool and lovely to wear, really comfortable. I love the feeling against the skin. It's very soft and drapey. But yeah, this is the flounce sleeve option. There's a lot of different options on this tea, but go ahead and watch the episode if you haven't already. And I'll link the pattern below because it's a really great pattern. This was a fabric gifted to me, so I didn't actually buy this in the Black Friday sales. I was actually given it from Minerva. This is a gorgeous Lady McElroy uh, linen rayon fabric. It is so soft and beautiful. I know I love a linen, but sometimes you don't really like the way it creases terribly, if, depending on the style. Um, if you want a nice long floaty dress, I think the Allody wrap dress from Closet Case Patterns is calling this one's name. I think it's a perfect match made in heaven for it i really do um, i think i might may even have enough to do the full-on maxi version the crossover front um, probably do the shorter sleeve option but yeah really really pretty that will be happening very soon and i know i've shown you this beautiful iCat fabric from anr fabrics before um, this i bought the pattern to make the wildwood dress from so house seven i think it's going to be a beautiful dress as well so that will be happening very shortly i've got a lot of people waiting to see the review on that dress because i think it just looks stunning it could be one of those dresses that i may even have to make a couple of them see how we go but usually so house seven patterns yeah i, I love the way they fit the body on me Talking about So House 7, I actually bought the Tea House dress in their sale and the Minerva fabric from last month that I received, I think I've been waiting for the right dress for that. And I know I was looking at making a caftan, but now I'm thinking the Tea House dress would be absolutely stunning in this fabric. Um, yeah, so that I have got in mind to make the Tea House dress. So I've sort of got a few plans happening time is really running out because of course december is flying so i really need to get my butt into gear and start sewing you some of these things so you can see how beautiful they turn out for christmas time this is going to be a beautiful collaboration i'm going to be doing with jen from jen's sewing room i may have already had it up by the time you see this um, but if you see it already made up you'll know what it's from it's from spotlight and it's a beautiful bubble crepe fabric it doesn't have stretch but in saying that it's got a tiny bit but it's not really a knit it's more of a woven crepe but to me this just looked like a real festive fabric we were going for a festive theme um so jen has i think picked kind of a green color theme as well um but yeah i don't know what it is about this but it reminds me of like lead light looking pattern the print in it i think yeah it gives off a festive kind of vibe so i love the drape in that and you will see what I'm going to make. I won't give it away. A big four pattern that Jen has actually made herself quite a few times. She'll be making one of my favorite indie companies uh, dresses as well. So you'll, you'll probably either have seen this or it'll be up very, very shortly after this episode. If you love that fabric, head into Spotlight and yeah, get yourself a piece of that. I think it's beautiful fabric and very lovely drape in that as well. Now, Nerida Hansen has a sale on, I think it's still going. She had a big sale on that Friday, Black Friday uh, week. I couldn't resist this gorgeous book, Gossen uh, print. I think this is in a, lin it's a linen cotton, but look at the beautiful print. It's a salmon color pink. It's got lovely people all over it, but nice big print. I think it's, you don't normally see that well, like a medium sized print. You normally see little print with people, but 
I love the dimensions of that and the scale of the print. I think it's really stunning. And I'm thinking a little shift sleeveless dress for summer. I would really love to wear that because it just speaks summer color to me. Um, it's almost like a salmon-y, peachy color pink, but beautiful fabric. Um, I can't wait to see that done up actually. I really need to hurry up and make that because I want it for summer, especially for summer. So head on over to Nerida Hanson and check out their beautiful fabrics. Just spotlight again on the clearance table. I saw this great fabric for it's under $10 a metre. It's a linen blend. There's a linen tencel pinstripe. But I think this would be, make a beautiful pocket skirt from Peppermint Patterns, a free pattern, of course. Um, I think it's a great little staple khaki green colour fabric with a pinstripe. And to coordinate with that, I actually found a beautiful rayon print that really has a real true 70s vibe. Um, I think it'll make a beautiful cuff top from the assembly line or sagebrush blouse from Friday Pattern Company. I think this is just stunning, especially with the khaki stripe. I think it'll work really well. But yeah, doesn't it have a beautiful vintage vibe to it? And I must say florals really, a lot of florals I find now I'm very particular with picking florals. It has to really speak to me. I'm tending to get very particular with what floral prints I'm more attracted to because I find that I have a whole wardrobe full of florals and I can get really tired of them very quickly. So they either have to have a great bright vibrant print or something very unique and very vintage looking for me to really want to wear it and love it. Another plan I've got for December that I really want to make a Christmassy dress in this beautiful red cotton silk royal fabric that was purchased from the fabric store online. And I've had this now for a couple of months that I'm really wanting to make a Christmassy dress and I'm thinking the Hope dress from Starlark Patterns would be a beautiful dress in this. It's light and floaty and very sheer but I just think it really gives me all those Christmas feels. Have a look at that print up close. The green I think with the red just pops out to me so that will definitely be the hope dress pattern the last purchase i made for the black friday sales was from potter and co over in wa and this is another gorgeous cotton silk blend in this gorgeous print and it's going to be some kind of blouse i really don't know which blouse yet but some kind of peasant looking blouse i think would be beautiful just stunning of course you can see i'm attracted to this black bold print but there's something about cotton and silk blended together. It gives you the most beautiful, soft, floaty feeling. And to be worn through summer, I think uh, you'll definitely want to wear that. I'll be reaching for that again and again in the wardrobe. You can hear my Burmese cat. He's, they have a little cat flap door and there's a cat run on the side of the house. And he's out there having his dinner because if I don't lock him out and feed him separately, he will eat the little old granny Mabel her food he'll eat hers as well as his and everyone else's so you can hear him out there sooking he's not happy but he'll be letting very shortly when she's finished her dinner ah cats everywhere cats and dogs and kids but most of the kids are home from uni now um, we've got one the high school boy he's home and we've got one to go Lily who will be finishing off grade six and we, we actually found a great school we we're going to look at schooling her online for next year and we decided to go against that and find a little country school that's got about 300 students for a secondary school which i think is brilliant so she'll be able to catch a bus that's just locally so we're really really thrilled about that and although i um yeah i wasn't quite sure how i was going to cope with doing that i really find that i think teachers are so undervalued and, and really um, underappreciated the amount of work they do and how difficult it is to I think we've all gone through COVID together and seen how hard it can be they really um, I've got to congratulate them they do a great job I find the biggest thing is to motivate the kids the ability to do the work but to motivate them and I take my hat off to any parent who does homeschooling all the time I think you do a great job getting towards that really hectic time of year I've got a couple of episodes that are really fun and exciting. I'm going to let you in on a few of them. And if you like cocktails like I do, I've got a little bit of a fun episode planned to show you some Christmas cocktails that I like to make. And I can pair it back with a bit of sewing just to get a bit of a vibe happening. <laughs> I can tie it in somehow. So thank you for watching today and I hope that you are liking the ideas I've got here for different patterns and plans. If there's anything that you think that I should make out of these fabrics, let me know in the box below. I love to hear your comments. I love to get a bit of inspiration from you guys as well. Um, but yeah, let's hope I can get my butt sewing really, really fast and get some more 
new dresses made for the beautiful Christmas season coming up. If you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that helps people find my channel. And also a huge thank you to all the wonderful people who support me over on my coffee page. If you wanted to support the channel, that way you can uh, click on the link below and a coffee, a virtual coffee can be bought to help creators with their episodes. So keep safe and keep sewing and bye for now.